Now, most of you already know that most EV companies beginning of this year came out and cut prices on all of their models. These include companies like Tesla, Leoro, just to mention a few, which obviously came out and cut prices on their models. This, of course, was in response, of course, to the subsidies or especially to the Chinese companies, to subsidies that have been taken away or that ended most of them in 2022. So companies or most EV companies went out there and cut prices on their models, trying to obviously attract more consumers into coming and buy their cars. Now with NIO, it was a different story, ladies and gents, as NIO believed that, of course, they believe in their cars and those cars or their fleet of cars are the ones to drive, of course, more consumers, including, of course, the services which they provide that is out of this world. But that, ladies and gents, I think me and you can definitely agree that it did not help NIO because we've been seeing deliveries of NIO uh, coming down or being reduced used on a month to month which obviously without uh, of course thinking twice me and you can agree that this is mainly due to obviously the competition that comes with those EV companies that obviously cut their prices or have cut their prices beginning of the year because we are seeing um, some of the companies that you New York used to deliver um, uh, more cars than them and uh, delivering uh, 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 good delivery figures or delivering or seeing a growth in their deliveries and this is mainly due to the of course uh, discount so that of course or the price cuts that they introduce on all of their uh, models which is why we've been seeing neo suffering but today ladies and gents the suffering or, or from neo or, or neo with relation to these price cuts is about to end from today because ladies and gents today neo officially announced of course in the neo app saying that they are cutting uh, four thousand two hundred dollars or thirty thousand rmb or chinese yen on all of their models that they sell i mean this is something that is incredible or interesting because right now it means that the neo et5 mid sedan it is currently going for 298,000 rmb which is less than 300 rmb so it means that right now as of today officially there is a model that you can buy with less than 300,000 uh, RMB or Chinese yen including a battery which is something that is obviously interesting because this is a model which obviously before this of course price cuts that Neo introduced it cost roughly with a battery around $47,000 now of course with these uh, obviously price cuts that Neo announced today it means that this car you can buy it by just around 43 thousand dollars which is something that is incredible and something that will boost some sales so yes even including the of course es6 it is going to of course get this huge boost and neo has already put some benefit aside to cover those that of course have recently have the orders or have recently bought of course the latest neo cars and that is including of course the latest neo es6 so it is not a problem for those that of of the consumers or neo consumers that have of course bought their uh, latest nt 2.0 cars from neo recently as they can get or as their benefits that they can get so i'm very excited but before we did the video you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a profit and a financial advice video and i really appreciate if you can just hit the likes button if you are enjoying the content that i'm giving you about the major catalyst or the big catalyst that we just got to hear from neo uh, the, today so if you are enjoying this kind of content hit that likes button as it also helps with youtube's algorithm otherwise if you're not subscribed to the channel please also consider hitting that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content so i'm very excited about this news because ladies and gents it's about to go down the neo sales are about to be seriously recovered and i'm hoping for the best because even for the upcoming i think that even the guidance that obviously neo gave last week ladies and gents i think that obviously we might get to see either neo uh, delivering on the upper side of that guidance and that is of course delivering around 12,000 vehicles for the month of june otherwise we might see them also reporting or uh, over uh, 12,000 vehicles uh, because of these massive discounts that which they are offering so i'm very excited and i just thought i should just give you those quick updates because ladies and gents between between today and 31st of july those that buy the new cars and add a 30,000 rmb on top or over and above their purchase they will receive of course uh, 
uh, the four times battery swaps per month which obviously we all know that this new price cut takes away the free uh, swaps that those that were buying the new cars were enjoying uh, and i'm talking about those six swaps that of course those that buy the new cars were enjoying so with that taken away or with that of course sort of like benefit going away or neo taking it away those that buy the 30,000 rmb from today or between today and the 31st of july can be able to get four swaps per month and obviously an unlimited 10-year warranty on their new uh, car so i'm very excited about this because ladies and gents you uh, like i said that the, the the bad side or rather something that is uh, that you must take into cognizance is that of course the neo took away the free swaps that they used to offer this deal or these pride cards uh, offer that new is offering comes with of course neo taking away the free swaps that those that were buying the neo cars were getting so i, I know this might of course not be good but obviously what one thing that do on this article that the ceo said is that they can make everyone happy but of course they can try to make the majority of the people happy which is i definitely understand that price cuts and taking away the free swaps it makes sort of like make sense right and i know some of you might be saying well the gross margins of neo might be compromised due to this okay massive of course discounts that neo is offering to of course the new of course uh, consumers that want to buy the neo cars and i must say or my response to that is that i personally think that when neo covered their earnings or q1 earnings last week first friday they already knew of course what about these discounts and regardless of this they are still targeting a double digit of course uh, uh, gross margin in the q3 and over or around 15 percent of gross margin in the q4 so they know that they'll still be able to achieve some gr good gross margins regardless of these uh, price cuts or the regardless of these massive discounts that neo is offering so this to me it's a major catalyst this to me is definitely going to boost the neo sales and because like the et5 ladies and gents with bus now it's around 228 rnb or chinese yen whereas without bus like i said because of this video it is just below 300,000 rnb so this makes it very interesting for of course those that are thinking that neo sales will never recover i mean for the es6 without out, uh, of course so without bus is going for 338,000 RMB or Chinese yen which is quite a good price I mean it's now it's even closer to the latest Leoro L7 price I mean and if you have to compare of course the two cars in terms of technology and quality I think most of you or you and me can definitely agree that Neo will definitely take that uh, away from of course Leoro so I'm very excited about this news ladies and gents because I know deliveries are going to recover I know more sales are going to recover and the future of neo it's promising and i can tell you that chances are very high that in the second half neo is going to blow our minds and that is of course uh, uh, by delivering a uh, uh, huge numbers in terms of deliveries because you all know that obviously as per my saturday video i did indicate that neo's target is to of course find themselves delivering 30,000 e e vehicles in a month which with these uh, discounts that we just got to read from neo today i personally believe that it is it is becoming more possible there is or there will be a light at the end of the tunnel for neo and neo is going to do well and those that continue loading the boat whenever they can they are definitely going to be rewarded in the longer term neo remains that stock or, or that company that not only do they give or sell top quality cars but they also offer a 10 out of 10 service which you can never find in any of the evs that are out there so otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you this quick update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content so i'm very happy about these price cards because it will revive the new deliveries both in china and in europe which is something that obviously especially knowing that neo this coming thursday they will be officially unveiling uh, the 
ET5 touring both in China and in Europe, it makes it even more interesting because then we know that the price for that model, ladies and gents, chances are it might also be below 300,000 RMB. There are chances that it might be priced at that point, which is something that if it gets to below 300,000 RMB, then it slides out for that model. That model will sell like cupcakes and I know that in China it's not expected to sell very well because apparently the touring sells more in, of course, Europe than in China. But I believe that if you can, they can get it below 300 RMB, then 300,000 RMB, then they are going to obviously get some good, of course, uh, sales or figures from uh, sales in China, which obviously is just a good thing. Europe, I don't even want to say because, ladies and gents, this is a car that is primarily made for Europe and meaning that with the 4,200 uh, price card that is being offered by NIO, it is definitely going to compete or uh, seriously also in Europe which will drive some gold sales. Otherwise, that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all.